All right, welcome back everyone. A wind advisory in effect 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. today for much of western and central Iowa. This does include Polk County as well as Story County, so we could see gusts in these areas up to 45 miles per hour. That combined with some fairly low humidity today does provide us a bit of an elevated fire risk. So if you had plans on doing any burning today, uh, go ahead and hold off on that until tomorrow when things will calm down uh, much more compared to today. Right now the wind is steady. It's not extremely strong. Southeast winds at 14 miles per hour, but enough of a breeze to drop our wind chill to the low 20s. Actual temperatures are in the upper 40s, so no threat for frost at all this morning. Quick warm up expected. Uh, we'll see some thin cloud cover this morning, so I would call it filtered sunshine this morning, and then those uh, thin clouds will clear out by the afternoon, and that's really going to allow those temperatures to soar all the way to the low 70s later on today. There are those thin clouds I'm talking about. Those will be passing through from time to time. No rain expected today across Iowa, but we do have a cold front to our west. This is the first of two cold fronts that will move through Iowa this weekend. Round one moves through later on tonight. We'll get a break on Saturday night and then round two moves through late Sunday through Sunday night and could bring us some rain at that point through early Monday morning. Here's a closer look. Dry conditions today. The only issue today is the wind will be dry this evening for the Friday night football games uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, a chance for some showers along and east of I-35. I think you folks out west will avoid this batch of showers, but the rain could linger in eastern Iowa all the way through lunchtime. So I'm thinking the Hawkeye fans heading to the game tomorrow morning. You might be dealing with some light rain showers. It's not going to be terrible heavy rain will dry out Saturday afternoon through Sunday afternoon and then the next cold front sparks up some showers and maybe even a couple thunderstorms as we wrap up the weekend. So the weekend will be bookended by some rain chances. The middle of the weekend, though, looks just fine. 67 on Saturday and a high of 63 on Sunday. You marathon runners are going to be in good shape and should stay dry. After that, we're going to cool back down with a high of 53 on Monday. 50 stay put for most of next week. Looks like a fairly dry week, which is good news for farmers, but uh, we will definitely be cooling down after this weekend.